Hello, I'm Rory's photographer and welcome to my photography studio here in London and I'm here to talk to you about how to dress and how not to dress for an actor's headshot session. For the past 14 years I've photographed many of the world's most prolific actors from Sir Patrick Stewart to Sir Ian McKellen, William Shatner and many, many, many more. And here I want to talk to you today just about some advice and tips and tricks on how to do a wonderful actor's headshot session without taking the distraction off your face. Busy patterns can be very, very distracting. Avoid logos. Avoid very extreme patterns. These can take the emphasis off your headshots. Sparkles is a definite no-no, as Sasha is demonstrating here. It really takes the emphasis off your headshot sessions. Busy patterns, logos, they can all be distracting. Avoid these at all costs. I know leopard print is in season, but it doesn't work for headshot sessions, so avoid it, and again, keep it simple, keep it neutral. Pink, definitely, no, 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 no. As you can see, it's too bright, and it really takes the emphasis off your face. Avoid using white, cream, beige. These colors really throw off your headshots. When we're using lighting, bright backdrops, they really don't work. The secret is to make your headshots really, really pop. So we're going to select colours that can accomplish that goal. Many headshot photographers will say, don't wear black. Well, I disagree with this, as my signature is black. If you look at my headshot sessions with famous actors, they wear black, they wear dark colours. I believe this really works, especially when you're shooting against a black backdrop. If you want the face to really pop out the emotions, then black is a fine colour. So I'm going to dispute that with other headshot photographers. Blue is a great colour to use for headshot sessions, it really brings out skin tone. Avoid really, really light blues, stick with sort of dark or medium tone blues. Denim is a really good colour, so have a look at blue as an option. As you can see on a recent uh, actor's headshot session with actor James Purefoy, we use very dark colours, blacks, greys, dark blues, and it worked out quite well in the photo shoot. Denim is a real winner for me, whether it's black denim, whether it's blue denim, it works very, very well. So have a look at that. It's got wonderful contrasting patterns for headshot sessions. So denim to me is a real winner. If you're doing an actor's headshot session, then wear denim as an option. If you have really blue eyes, really green eyes, then I recommend green is a really, really good color. If you want to bring out your eyes, then green is really good at accomplishing that only if you have blue or green eyes. If you have darker eyes, if you have brown eyes, then I recommend maroon is a really good colour. Again, this will bring out your eyes, bring out your features quite perfectly. If you're coming to an actor's headshot session, I recommend just don't bring one shirt. Bring multiple shirts. Bring as many shirts as you wish. We can always go through them and double check everything is okay. Many actors are on a tight budget. If you need to buy some clothes for your headshot session, you can usually return them to store after your photo shoot. Just keep the tags on and be sure to check the return policy of the store. Wrinkles could ruin your photos, so before you come, make sure that you have everything ironed, well pressed and on hangers, so then we can photograph you at your best. If you book an actor's headshot session with myself, don't panic, you can contact me beforehand and I'll give you handy tips, tricks and advice about clothing. Thank you guys for listening, and uh, if I can offer any help, tips, tricks or advice, please feel free to contact me. Also, if you want to see more of these videos, please, please subscribe. I'm going to feature lots, lots more information over the coming weeks. Take care.